Alrighty, it is uh, Sunday, May 28th. Got an absolutely gorgeous day going on here, and I am finally getting back on a Northern Colorado off-road recovery. So um, we're headed down uh, towards the Netherlands area today to get a uh, Lexus LX, uh, I think it's a LX 470 uh, that's nosed down in the mud. And uh, shouldn't be a terribly complicated pull, but on the uh, mission notes that we got last night uh, when the call paged out was a uh, gentleman in a, in a full-size truck had tried to pull this vehicle out with a, a lower rated tow strap, like a 7,000 pound tow strap, and uh, broke it. So um, suction on this thing could be pretty good since it's been sitting in the mud for a day now. But uh, we will see. So I haven't, uh, I haven't been like, uh, making any videos or anything lately because well all the trails in northern Colorado are closed and all the really good off-road recoveries have been so far away from me that I haven't been able to justify driving to them so finally got one within an hour of home and uh, I had to jump on it uh, to see what uh, see what we can get done today so stick around and we'll be on scene here shortly Well, and he's uh, stuck on both sides, front and back. So, do you want to just try a straight? You got that's a twelve thousand or a fifteen thousand on that. Okay, factory's fifteen. So I'll just need an anchor so I don't have to. Yeah. Uh, I can double do a double line or put a put a receiver, uh, yeah, put a receiver hitch in there for a shackle and uh, two to one it and out it comes. Should be relatively low drama. You don't want to go to the front hooks and just pull it forward? You were doing some digging, huh? <laughs> it's actually way drier than it was yesterday. Yeah, from the pictures we had, you can tell the water's gone down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not surprising. Well, hell, let's get some stuff out. Right. Rig up. Red. There you go. There's, There's red. red. We'll pull forward then. Yeah. You want a two to one it? I would. Okay. I just go straight to a two to one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just hook it right back up and then we'll know how far you got to come forward. Um, if we got a shovel, we could do that. Yeah, yeah I got a pretty, I got a good shovel. Yeah. yeah, that would help just to not rip the bumper off. Right. Yeah. I still say go to the front hooks and just pull it forward. Forward would probably actually be easier if you could get. There is. I don't like the hooks. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's. Forward would be a lot easier, but I don't like the hooks. Yep. Yeah, you pull on that thing, we're going to rip it right off, so... Oh, you'll bend it. Backwards is the way to go. Unfortunately, never think about recoveries and off-roading on half of these. I'd still like to think that the truck with the kinetic on it would have just... Uh, but you still want to dig... Once you dig out that corner. Uh-huh, dig the corner out. Or high lift it and throw it under. I like the plate. This is definitely not dry. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Just keeps the rigging out of the dirt a little more. Yeah, we can chuck all that in the hole when we're done. Arguably, I don't think this is the trail, so. No, the trail's up there. Yeah. This is a deep sea bypass. Just like that. Just like that is definitely not the trail. Uh-huh. Somebody was playing in the mud. Uh-huh. That's the problem. Oh, I hate that. I tried to be 
because of that. I know. Yeah. Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt. That's good enough for the receiver. Okay. And just work on the. Uh... Right, should we take that traction board out? I'd just leave it for now. Traction board making contact with the tire? I don't think so. I think it's too far off. I think okay. the traction board's probably shoved. Yeah, it's probably about okay. six short. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, every shovel's going to take, you know, a couple pounds of force off, so yeah. less chance of ripping the bumper off. the guy that hooked the strap up to it floored it and broke it yeah luckily that strap didn't come back through the glass uh -huh. he was also saying that, uh, you, want to it yet or wait? you may as well, well i mean yeah you can back up and tension it we're i'll hold your snatch out of the mud here so it doesn't get packed in crap that still looks good okay. Drinking buds at 10 in the morning. Okay. You can dig as much as you uh, want to. You want to keep going in the corner? Yeah. That's jammed in there anyway. Um, I don't know. We might be at a point where we can just give it a shot. We'll let them set their anchor up and then. We'll get out of the way and see if this pops out of here. Right. I think we're good enough once you're tensioned that we can give this a shot. So I think I'm pretty tensioned. I'm pretty sure it's gonna pop Would right out of here. So. Or or... Uh, yeah. I'd say jump in it and put it in neutral and uh you might well go through the passenger seat. Yeah. Well. Fire it up, put it in neutral. If you can sit in the passenger seat, just sit in the or the driver's seat, just sit in the driver's seat. Testing. Go ahead and start it up, just put it neutral. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's gonna pop right out of here, so we'll see. I'm gonna go over here. Still recording? Still recording. So that's a 15,000 pound winch on that power wagon, doubled up. So we should have 30,000 pounds of available pulling force. And it's anchored to a second power wagon. So there's around 18,000 pounds of parked weight sitting there. So this thing should pop right out of here.
It was a gooey hole. You can keep going. You got like six feet. Okay, go ahead and put go ahead and put it in park. Oh, foot. Okay, another foot. We're on a traction board. Okay. So not it bad. sounded like not it. Bad. Not too terrible. Yeah. Man, why can't they all go that easy? Oh, <laughs> it's fun, huh? Whose traction board is that? Okay. Go chuck it in the water on the uh, road up there and get all that crap off so it doesn't just ruin the back of your car. Well, that was a quick uh, quick mission. Um, we're gonna get backed out of the way here. They're putting some gear away out, out behind us and uh, we're gonna get this guy out of here. And uh, man, quick mission. I mean, we were on scene at like 9.25 and he was out at 9.35. So <laughs> it's it's literally 9, 9.40 in the morning. So um, we just left the meetup at nine o'clock. So uh, we're gonna just uh, drive around and, and like troll for calls. So. Uh, maybe there'll be more, maybe there won't. If there's not, uh, there will not be anything after this clip. But uh, if there is, uh, I will extend the video. Maybe include some wheeling, I don't know. Anyway, um, if I don't have any more, then we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.